Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Jonathan Andreessen, who's the Senior Director of Marketing and Products at Encode Technologies. Encode Technologies builds world-class identity products that offer self-service, omni-channel and secure multi-biometric capabilities. Jonathan joins us today to discuss the identification and authentication solutions offered by Encode. Thanks for joining us today, Jonathan, and welcome to the Jam. Thanks for having me. Nice to be here. So first of all, I just wonder, can you tell us who is Encode? No problem. So Encode is uh, the leading privacy centric identity verification company uh, that focuses on transforming the customer journey uh, and security for our customers, which are large enterprises. We focus across uh, many different verticals, finance, hospitality, retail, the sharing economy, uh, to help those customers leverage a new process to fast track their digital transformation and business using identity. What is identification, um, oh, sorry, identity verification technology? So identity verification is a subset of the overall identity space. Identity and access is, a, is how Gartner might define it. There are a lot of vendors in that space. Identity verification is a very fast growing space that has uh, accelerated due to the COVID pandemic by about five years at least. And the whole idea is that we want to be able to verify and build trust between yourself and the business um, contactless in a contactless fashion so that we can identify that you are who you say you are uh, quickly using your digital uh, technologies, your mobile phone, your applications uh, against a, a sort of passport identity documents that are the source of truth. And so in the physical world, you know, we tell that you're you because I see you and I know it's you and I shake your hand. But in the digital world, it's quite hard to do. Um, it's taken a while for the industry to come around to do that. Uh, and if you can do it really well and build the same level of trust in the digital world that you can do in the physical world, you can really solve that trust gap that exists between users and companies um, that, that exists in the digital world, because we don't 100% trust digital technologies. We don't trust that you keep our data safe, that my, my biometrics are private, and that it's going to be secure. And so if we can solve those trust issues, um, really we can transform how companies use digital technologies, and they can really accelerate whole parts of their business, particularly around KYC, Know Your Customer Initiatives, so we can onboard customers faster, we can roll out new services faster, we can remove a lot of the friction and roadblocks that exist between users and companies as they try to onboard remotely using mobile devices, iPads, computers uh, that they're trying to do today. And, and what are businesses and governments prioritizing when they're looking um, into an identification and authentication strategy? Very good question. So different businesses and, and governments even have different perspectives, but one common thread is that they wanna make sure that the user data is private. And from a user perspective, that's also very important. So we believe in, in privacy should be built into the technology. Uh, you should ensure that when you're giving your data to a verification identification company, that it's not gonna be misplaced or misused. It's gonna be secure. And so privacy really has become paramount. You see that in a lot of government initiatives, but across the business and government landscape, there really is a focus on several things. First of all, it's performance. We wanna be able to make sure it's you and, and implement this digital you know, facial verification technology, but we wanna remove the friction so it's fast and easy to be able to onboard and verify it is who you say you are. So when you're going to a banking application, you're getting into a ride sharing service, you're at the airport using a border services or you're registering for your airline or checking into a hotel, all those processes should be seamless and contactless and they should be customer friendly. So that's a very big focus uh, in terms of like what business is looking for and even for government services uh, is the sort of customer journey removing that friction. But also the other side of the same coin is really security. And today uh, identity has become the first layer of security for almost every business. And so if you are the wrong person and you get into someone's cloud account or their application, you can access all of their data and use it nefariously. Um, but if we can check at the front end that you are who you say you are, and you can log into your cloud instance or your application and get that data easily, then you can do a lot of really productive things. 
And so it's very important that we have that, um, that understanding that security really is best served by having an identity layer of verification that sits between the user and the business that builds a layer of trust and security between the user, their data, and the organization. And we, we have several ways that we do that to make sure the data is secure, uh, but security is really paramount. And for a lot of companies, and this is the age old problem in security is how do you, how do you ensure really high levels of security, but also high levels of performance. And usually there's a trade-off between I add more security, but I slow down uh, the process for my users because there's more checks, there's more, right, there's more um, steps, for example. And uh, we actually figured out a way to do that. So you don't have to sacrifice either security or performance. You can actually have both. So what trends are, are we seeing across the various industries? Well, this is such an exciting space. If you haven't heard about it before, it's it's really top of mind now for a lot of organizations, particularly because of COVID, right? We want contactless ways of verifying users uh, remotely across almost every business. And so whether you're in a manufacturing business, you're in a financial business, fintech, hospitals, retail, you know, we want to leverage digital technologies remotely, but who's at the other end of that connection? And if we can verify it is who they say they are, because most most security attempts, for example, are basically leveraging your identity to, to, uh, to steal your data or to, to leverage it in a, in a negative way. Um, that, that really becomes the issue. And so if we can s focus on solving those issues, almost every industry can be transformed. And it's so exciting to see the way this is happening in so many different use cases. Uh, whether it's a hotel, for example, where you seamlessly check in, whether it's an airport where you, you know, you log in and you have all your data there and they verify it's you and you can check in. What can we expect from ENCODE um, over the next few months, uh, particularly in the Asia Pacific region? So I've been here for about six months. Uh, we have more than doubled the team globally. Uh, we've added more than double the staff. We have tripled revenues in the past 12 months. Uh, we have, uh, I'm also leading Europe. And so from a marketing perspective there, we have grown significantly and we are just entering the Asian market. We've got some pretty iconic customers already uh, across the region, uh, flagship brands, which are exciting. And uh, we're looking to, to elevate that with new hires over the coming months. And that, uh, that's across the region, Australia, Southeast Asia, North Asia as well. And because this technology really has so many opportunities, uh, it, it can be used across different verticals. And uh, when it's deployed correctly, is completely transformative for, uh, for different types of business in a very unique way. Well, thanks so much, Jonathan, uh, for sharing a bit more about, you know, what ENCODE does and I guess the importance and the future that is identity verification technology. Um, it's mm -hmm. been great to have you on Jam. Thanks for having me. Cheers.